Are you filming? Yeah. All right, guys. So day two of AM Oakland. I really don't want to go. <laughs> like, I really don't because yesterday sucked. <laughs> but yeah. What the fuck are we gonna watch today, man? Yes. Yeah. No, we're gonna win the free razor shit. No, we're not, dude. Yes, we are. We're gonna be a big line. So what? Bro, I'm telling you, we're not. I'm not waiting two hours to big bug you, dude. We're gonna wait. <laughs> yes, <Really>? yes, <laughs> we're gonna wait. Bro, that's my car right here. Film it, film it. <laughs> then why you're walking from the dead entrance? <laughs> dude, what the fuck is this car so good? Bro, I don't want to go! Already here. No, I'm just kidding, but Pudgy sucked, dude. Pudgy sucks as an esport. It's not gonna win. It doesn't suck as an esport, but like, you just need to. I'll explain get... it in the, this video. You guys are gonna see. <laughs> it had to get a, I don't know, better spectator experience. Dude, your vape smells like shit, dude. Fuck you! It smells like burnt caramel popcorn. You don't dude. have a taste. You're from, from the Orc Arena? That's where we're going, by the way. If you I guys did. don't know, I did already. This is where the NBA uh, Golden State Warriors play. This is where like concerts happen. Justin Bieber, uh, never, uh, never say never tour was here. Iconic. Iconic. Dude, someone bought the, the same car as me. What the fuck, dude? Dude, let's Boy. key it. Let's key it. I want to fucking key that bitch. Which car are you talking about? The fucking Tesla. Tesla. You bought so the what? same thing as me. So what? On the original. Damn. So yeah, man, we're gonna eat like uh, twenty dollar uh, chicken breast, uh, double and, fried, uh, double. Yeah. Fried. <laughs> and well, we'll, honestly, they we'll, feed us like shit, man. And we're gonna buy the seven dollar bottle of water. Oh yeah, dude. We have to drink. I need to drink my water. Guys, stay hydrated, okay? No, but it's cool, man, because it's like airport security. At least you don't have a motherfucker that puts a bomb. Inside. You never know, man. All right, guys. So I'll, we'll see you inside. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Michael, for the one thousand dollar donation. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you for supporting my uh, my career. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Cheers. All right, guys. So as you can see, I tried to vlog with my friend Noor. We went to I am Oakland, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit and tell you what the fuck was going on there. How was it compared to last year? And if I like my experience, I'm shooting this video right now at school. Uh, it, this is Monday today and I am was Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to tell you a bit what I did, what I was really happy about, what I didn't like. Uh, just a bit like last year. If you guys want to see my last year video, uh, I'll link it down below if you want. Uh, it was pretty cool as well. The only difference between this year and last year is that it was last year was CSGO and League of Legends and this year was CSGO and PUBG. So coming into AEM, as you can see in my little intro, I wanted to see what PUBG was about and I'm gonna talk about it uh, in this video and I wanted to see what PUBG was about in esports. Can PUBG be an esport? Uh, is it interesting? Did they do what H1Z1, uh, did they fix what H1Z1 couldn't? Uh, is it a good experience? Uh, what do people around me think? So I had the chance to interact with a lot of people there, uh, just see what how people felt. And to be honest, my overall feeling is that PUBG isn't gonna work in esports unless a lot of changes are made just for esports. Uh, the first thing that really struck me is the whole um, the whole like looting time. So the whole looting time was so boring. As uh, I don't want to say so boring because well. It, it, it is just boring. Like, there's nothing about it that is very interesting. Like, oh my god, TSN found a scar. Like, yo, like, even the shoutcaster, for like a lot of time, they didn't know what to say. They were like, oh my god, Triple uh, A found some Red Bull and some first aid. It's gonna make them uh, be able to heal and whatever. And like, oh, they all have a helmet. Like, they're trying to hype you up as a viewer, as a spectator. But honestly, you don't give a fuck. Uh, and looking around me, there was a lot of people with their phones on for at least 15 minutes because, because well, because it's like, it just makes sense. Like the looting experience is pretty long. The first zone takes like a, a few minutes. The second circle takes a few minutes. And it's also the gameplay. So all those pro gamers are here to win. There was a good cash price on the line. I think it was $60,000. And overall, like you don't want to die. You're not going to take risks. So you're not going to see crazy plays. You're usually going to see people standing in their line, 
trying a few aims at uh, if the car is moving, they're trying to shoot a little bit. If they have a suppressor or something like that, they're going to try to take shots. But at the end of the day is, is the circle going to make us lose or is the circle going to make us win? And I thought that that was so, it was just killed the vibe. It really killed the esports vibe is that, oh, you have a cliff, whatever. There's a circle like that. Uh, there's one team here. There's one team here. If the circle goes here, then this team is going to win because this team has to move and they're going to be exposed. In, in our level, guys, like in your level, in my level, where we suck at PUBG, like we're not professional, we're not professional to be. When you move like this from a circle to another, it is like you have a little chance factor because, well, the guy in front of you sucks, right? Like his aim is terrible. Uh, you can zigzag, you can do your thing, and it just will go through, right? But here, it was, it's not like that. Like they're pro gamers, they aim like bosses, they have 8x, 4x, red dot, whatever. They don't need anything crazy to kill you, and they just did. So that was really what the, the, the really big factor for me is that PUBG isn't a game that is entertaining at all. Like people were on their phone the first 10 minutes. And well, well when things int intensifies, like intensifies as the, the circle goes smaller and then you see team moving around killing each other, the capture of killing isn't really there yet. Like the spectator mode, I can see what uh, effort the company uh, did around it uh, with the color, uh, the viewing, uh, the viewing party, just to see the loot, what people have. All that was super interesting. I think there's great ideas that H1C1 could copy actually, but it's still not there yet. And I had a chance to do an interview with Kotaku, which is a gaming website. Uh, they interviewed me actually as just a spectator. And I was like, you know, like maybe it's just me. Maybe it's me that I don't like uh, battle royales as a spectator. Uh, I saw a lot of people out there just loving it and having a lot of fun uh, seeing uh, PUBG. It wasn't for me. It wasn't for me, but I was happy to see all those matches. AAA won the French team, so JJ about that. Uh, GG, sorry, not JJ. JJ is in French. Uh, JJ. And yeah, like, I mean, it was fun. The only also problem is that it's eight games. Like, eight game is a long time. Like, it's a lot of content. And I don't think people can digest that much. Like, they cannot take that much content. Uh, and it's repetitive as fuck. Uh, and from, from like one time to another, you understand that it's, it's a lot of luck. Like it's, it is a lot of luck, unfortunately. So PUBG in esports, this is my opinion, guys. I don't think it will be a successful esports. I definitely think it's, it's gonna be a successful game. It is already a successful game, top of YouTube, uh, top of Twitch. Uh, we only see this, all the streamers are going to this. Fortnite is coming a little bit, like they're here wandering around, they're like the lift to the Uber type of stuff. Uh, but I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan. So I won't be watching it, I, I probably will. Maybe if we see like a lot of like charisma from teams, like I get to know a player and I really wanna see this specific player play, why not, I'll be down for it. But maybe in another video, I could be like, I could talk about what PUBG Esports should be like and I can just more express my ideas and how maybe they can build an entire new game with Esports. One other idea I had, and I talked to one of the team owner, he told me it wasn't bad, is that teams at the start of the game, they already have all the weapons they want. They have everything they want. Uh, they have like, I don't know, let's say like they have a limited amount of like Red Bulls and first aid and med kits. They have like one per team. They have like uh, 10 med kits, they have like 50 bandages, uh, they have one suppressor, they have one this, they, was, they have one, one, one 8x, so two 4x, three 2x's. So everyone is stuffed the, the same way and people can just go and battle. Um, I don't know, apparently the, the competition was a success at Gamescom, it was a success at Twitch, uh, at IEM as well. Uh, the owner on Twitter said that there was a lot of things they wanted to work on and that they were, this was just a way to test things out. But obviously, I think it was a success. I mean, IEM Oakland Oracle Arena was absolutely huge. The it was at least at like a few hundred people watching it on the field. I think it was like around 50k people watching online. Correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, I didn't really see the the number on Twitch. I might might have seen it once or twice, but I don't think it was at optimal times at all. So yeah. Besides that, well, my friends. So my friend that was filming the vlog and other friends that came with me to IEM. They are. They were there for CS:GO mostly, not for PUBG. I was there for PUBG. I just want to see what the vibe was with PUBG uh, and what it was going to be about. CS:GO was so interesting. Honestly, I think CS:GO is the best esports out there. Um, it's so like the adrenaline rush as you get. The the it's just easy to understand. People are just so hyped. I'm going to show you, show you some photo uh, some footage of it. But just the event itself was just so big, so so big, so much hype. NIP won. Uh, 
I think I, in a clip I say I don't give a fuck about CSGO, but I just really respect CSGO, actually. Like, I think it's really awesome. The um, FaZe and stuff, like, they have such a good branding. Uh, FaZe, insane branding, by the way. Like, this, the handstand, like, the hand sign like this, I think it's insane. Like, if you have a brand and your fans replicate your hand sign, you won. You won. The branding is top-notch. I think that's top-notch, actually. So yeah, guys, so I'm gonna end this, uh, this video, this little vlog with um, some vlog content that my friend Noor filmed. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this vlog stuff where someone films me and I just talk while walking and doing my thing. Uh, I wanna hear what you guys thought of PUBG Esport, if you guys had the chance to look at it on Twitch, or if you guys were at IEM Oakland and I didn't get a, a chance to uh, say hi to you and meet you, let me know what you thought of IEM Oakland. Tell me what you thought, uh, I'm very curious to know. And yeah, I'll see you next time. I'll probably do a video about PUBG Esport, what it should be, what it should have been, or what it could be. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about other news as well on esports related uh, topic. Hi right, guys, so PUBG is over. AA uh, won, so the French guys won, guys. Let's go! Awesome for that. Dude! <laughs> Dude, smoke everyone, man. I'm trying to be a Don't worry, here. it's like in a mist. Right, I tried to plug my YouTube channel to people here, but it didn't work out. Let's stand next to the truck. I think that's a really a representation of this. Uh, a few. Of this event. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, honestly, Pugsy East one needs some work. I'm gonna come here, dude. Come here. Fuck. Dude, come here, man. I'm Fuck, here. I pay, what do I pay you for, man? <laughs> you How, much pay, pay you? How much do I pay you? How much do I pay you? No, dude, like, Pugsy needs some work, honestly. It's a cool, uh, it's a cool game, but like the start of the game is so boring. Like the whole looting experience, everything is really like it needs to be cut out. Like there needs to be an esports game for PUBG or something like that. But the beginning is I don't boring. Know. The mid game Bro. is boring. Like you don't only get interesting. The circle dead. is boring, dude. The circle is like, well, the circle is just like it's a luck. Like if you're in position and you don't have to move. The thing is that when you play PUBG with you, when I play PUBG with you and stuff. You can move and get lucky because people suck. But here, pro gamers, they shoot you, and if you go by it, like in a motorcycle, you will get knocked out, like 100%, almost. So, the circle has a lot of luck because obviously the aim of the pro gamers is huge. Uh, it's really good. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna see some PUBG. Uh, I don't see. I don't think PUBG will be here next year. To be honest, I don't think it's big enough. Uh, CS:GO is still going on. Phase uh, is probably gonna well, lose. PUBG is still in early access. Though. What'd you say? PUBG is still in early access. No. Yeah, it's early access. You can buy the game. But but it's still not published. Oh, yeah? I yeah. didn't know that. I don't know. I talked to a team owner that from a team that didn't qualify, unfortunately. Uh, and he told me a lot of changes were going to come. So, I mean, but you made hell of money, man. They have like $600 million in the bank account. So they can have, they have the capital to make some change. But yeah, man, it's over. Uh, well, we're gonna watch him uh, CS go, but I don't give a fuck, so I'm just gonna go for yeah. him. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Uh, iPhone giveaway. At <laughs> yeah, yeah, <at> sure. <laughs> iPhone 10 giveaway. Uh, uh, Tesla model. Uh, I'm giving away a Tesla uh, Roadster uh, for my 2,000 uh, subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. See you next time. Bye. I'm a vlogger, bro. I'm a vlogger, bro. Vacation. <laughs> I'm a vlogger, bro. Um, wh what do people want, man? For giveaways? Free skins? I'm giving away 20 Dragon Lore Stash Track Factory Wait, New. 20, dude. 20, bro. 20. You just have to comment. It's like 100,000. You have to come in, you have to guess my weight. If you're right, I give it to you. If you guess my weight by the... It needs to be one after the... It needs to be the... What do you call that? Wait. One decimal. If you guess my weight, you get 10 Dragon Lord for you, man. That's it, dude. Or, or a car. His you choose. Line, line. You choose, dude. A, a car or a ten, 20 Dragon Lord. Bro, we, got, we out here, dude. We out here. Shouts to you guys. Peace.